It is absolute pandemonium in Paris, where tens of thousands of French football fans are celebrating. Within the last few seconds, their team has just won the World Cup. France beat Croatia in the final in Moscow by four goals to two, a game laden with historical significance. These are the scenes on the Champs-Élysées in the French capital right now. It is quite an epic sight. Countless French men and women celebrating for as far as the eye can see, a picture very reminiscent of 1998 when Les Bleus won their first world title in a tournament that they were hosting. And now, 20 years on, they have done it again. Let's uh, join CNN's Melissa Bell, who has been following France's run through the tournament, and she's been with the fans today. Great to see you, Melissa. I hope you can hear me. How would you describe the mood there? What does this mean to them? Oh, ecstatic, Don, as you say. And this really is all about what happened 20 years ago, that amazing moment when France had felt so united around its team, about so proud of itself and what it was. And once again, let me show you these fans here behind these are the 100,000 fans who've been following the match on the giant screen at the foot of the, of the, of the Eiffel Tower, Don. Look at them. It's been the most extraordinary match. Croatia proved a really strong side. And so the tension here was palpable throughout the match until those last two goals uh, that were scored. Uh, the third one that was scored by Paul Dogba, of course. Huge cheers to, uh, here, as you'd expect. And then that amazing strike by Kylian Mbappe. never been achieved before, not even uh, by Pele. So an extraordinary match won by extraordinary players against a very strong side. And as you can see, the French can't quite believe it. When they've made it past the semi-final, Don, and it seemed so uh, remarkable already that they should have made it that far. They knew they had a strong squad, but there were so many other strong sides still in the match. And now they've done it 20 years after their 1998 win. And with a team of many young Fabulous. Uh, earlier in the day I saw many of those fans were being soaked and kept cool by the firemen who were just pumping water all over them because it has been another heat wave in Paris today, hasn't it? Uh, of course, this is just an extraordinary achievement for the French team beginning in 1998 and since then they have played in five major finals at football tournaments and they have now won three of them. They didn't begin this competition as the favourites. Uh, the likes of Germany, Brazil, Spain all fell by the wayside. But what I think will excite so many of these French fans is the youth of this team. They're the second youngest team at the tournament and things now could really be set up for these guys for many, many years to come. Melissa, I think you're going to be in for a long day, but an absolutely brilliant day. It must be so much fun to be around so many happy people. Um, what do you think is going to happen next? <laughs> and this is going to be, well, this is going to be the start of an enormous party. Let's be absolutely clear. You just show those images of the Champs-Élysées. These 100,000 fans are going to make their way across the river over the next hour or so. And the crowds on the Champs-Élysées are going to be phenomenally Thank you. 